Hello guys, recently I received this email asking for help with gates and many to many relationships and how to optimize the query. So in this video, I will show you that demo project, which I tried to recreate with help of my colleague Modestas. And the main problem is this, you have a table of job seekers, table of records, and you need to show or hide the button to view details for every record, showing details only for job seekers who applied to at least one of your jobs. Basically, if many to many relationship exists. But also, of course, you want to protect that not only on the front end by hiding the button or link, but also on the back end. So if someone actually guesses the URL of showing the job seeker record in the controller show method, the same check needs to be applied. So the author of that email wants to use gates to not repeat the same query twice in the blade and the controller and asks me how to structure that. And in this video, I will show you the solution with gates. And also I will show you why gates may be not the best solution in this case for performance reasons. So let's go. This is the demo project Laravel Breeze design with a table of job seekers and only one of them has the link to show details other ones don't. And if you go to show details, it shows the details of a person. But if someone tries to guess the URL, it would be 403 forbidden. Now let's take a look at the database structure so you would understand that better and then the solution in the code. The structure is this users table, then every user has one employer, maybe so there are 10 employers seated, it has one relationship. And then also users has one two job seekers. So 10 users are employers and 10 job seekers. And then I log in with one of the employer, and then employer may have job offers, and then job seekers apply to those offers and land in the pivot table of job offer and job seeker ID. Pretty typical pivot table belongs to many in Laravel. And in this case, job seeker ID one applied to job offer six, which belongs to employer one, which I'm logged in with. And that's why there is a link to show the details. So this is the functionality. Now let's take a look at the code. On the model level, I can explain it. But let's repeat, employer has many job offers, job seeker model has belongs to user and also belongs to many job offers with pivot table. And then in job seeker controller, we have two methods index and show so table and record of a job seeker. And then in the blade of showing job seeker in the index, we have if statement. So if the pivot table record exists. So in this video, I will actually show you three things. First, how to construct such query with many to many relationship, then how to transform that into gates, and then how to improve the performance by removing the gates. So step by step, let's dissect that query. Job seeker is a part of a for each loop. And then we query the pivot table. So pivot table, where the employer ID of job offers, which is this field equals to the employer ID of the logged in user. And here I use a has one relationship. So if that exists, then we show the link. And if we don't use gates, and this is commented out, I will get to that in a minute. If we don't use gates, then we need to repeat the same condition, almost the same condition in the show method of the controller here. Again, if job seeker job offers where employer, in this case, I do the opposite. If it doesn't exist, then I abort with 403. So one of the goals of the email author was to replace that repeating code with gates. Rightfully so. So let's move to that step. So we will create a gate. And instead of that, if statement, the controller will be shorter with gate authorize with job seeker as a parameter. And also in the blade, instead of that, if statement, we will have can with the same gate name. It's the classical principle of dry don't repeat yourself. So we move that condition into Laravel gate and gate is defined in app service provider. Before Laravel 11, it used to be an auth service provider. And you can still create that manually, but it would actually work in any service provider. So it's okay to do an app service provider. And this is the gate definition, any gate has a parameter of logged in user, and then you may pass more parameters, which would do exactly that. And the same condition of exists or not exists is now moved to gates. And another benefit, since user is auto resolve, we don't need to call auth user here every time. So that's our first optimization, we use gates instead of two if statements, let's try if it still works, show details still works, 
nothing broke, still 403. Great. But now let's go back to the table and I will show you the problem why gates are not the best solution here. So if you call a gate for every record in the table and table may contain 100 records, then each gate will query the database. In the Laravel debug bar below, we can see the queries and we can see exactly that. Select exists and all that long query with employer ID of the same logged in user and job seeker ID differs with different numbers. So we have 10 queries for 10 records that are shown on the screen. And the interesting part that Laravel has a prevention mechanism against that n plus one query, for example, on Laravel News, there's an article that in Laravel 8, they released model prevent lazy loading, which we can add to a service provider. In the boot method, we add model prevent lazy loading. And we refresh the page, but that didn't work. So we didn't throw an exception. The whole mechanism of prevent lazy loading or so-called strict mode should fire an exception if it detects n plus one query. But in this case, the query is more complicated. And I guess because of that, Laravel doesn't detect that it's n plus one query. So how to improve that performance? A typical classical solution is to load all the data once into collection and then instead of checking that record exists from the database, we should check that from collection and not call database again. But for that to work, gates don't really fit because gate condition doesn't know anything about what is loaded in the controller. So another way of doing that without gates is in the index instead of just loading job seekers, we will have another query and query with exists here like this. And then in the blade, we don't call the gate, but we also don't need that if statement. We can check if job seeker exists by doing something like this. If job seeker job offers exists, which is the result, automatic result of with exists function in eloquent. And now if I refresh the page, should it still work? Yep, it still does work. So shows only one link, the correct one, but the amount of queries is six instead of 16 because we have one query and exists is a sub query of that main query. And then in this case, it's your choice whether to leave gate here in the show or use if statement here, that's personal preference. In this case, gate would bring just the benefit of shorter controller and loading that if somewhere else in the gate, but that wouldn't be repeated in the controller and in the blade. So yeah, all that a bit longer video, step by step, trying to dissect the situation and explaining to you how to deal with the situation of complex many to many relationship with gates in the table, avoiding performance issues. What do you think? Maybe I've missed something. Maybe you would have done something differently. Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want more knowledge about eloquent and similar situations, I will recommend as I often recommend two of my courses. One of them is eloquent expert level, but there's also a separate course called eloquent. Yep. This one better eloquent performance. It's an older course from 2021, but since that time eloquent didn't change almost at all. So you will find a lot of tips and tricks about relationships as well in that course. And both courses are available for premium members of Laravel daily. And by purchasing premium membership, you also support this YouTube channel. So I can continue shooting videos like this one for free on YouTube. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.